We're learning, we're learning this Maimer from the Sefer Shar Hanun from the author of Vilvar Mishkan Evne. The, uh, the final Melchama before Mashiach comes. We're in the Melchama of the Shar, with the Shar Hanun of Tuma, something that has the qualities of Ein Sof, of that which is infinite. And and the only way to fight that Melchama is with Mesiris Nefesh. That's what we were learning last week. Melchama has to be a Melchama that taps into a Koch that we have, 
that takes us to a, to a place that's beyond ourselves, which is really the whole the whole milk, the whole Yitzhiya's Mishraim is this advice. I'm not going to go into it now, maybe a little bit more next week. But we see that that in order to leave Mishraim, there had to be a Mishchul Chu, and that sign, there had to be Mesir Snefesh, a certain Avoda Mesir Snefesh to go against everything that was Egyptian, and to take their, to take their Avodah Zara, and before their eyes, to shech their Avodah Zara. No. That Nakuda of breaking free of Mishraim, when they were in the Memtesh Shari Tuma, you see that, that unless, unless there's an Avoda of of Mesiris Nefesh, of going me'alu me'eva to a place that's without gvul. When a person when a person behaves according to his normal in his normal way, in his way that's mugbal, and it's all a continuation of who he's been his entire life, and it's not anything that's new. It's this this is how he's always been, and he works with his usual kaiches to fight against the ra in his life. And that's what he's been doing his entire life. Sometimes he's stronger, sometimes he's weaker. But it's a hemshech of his basic mahalach. Mesivus Nefesh is, is something uh, from the world of Achodesh Zel Achad. That's something already new. It's something that's already new. Mesivus Nefesh. That's a place of, that comes from Bittl. Bittl is, is Ka'afa is like the Afa, the earth. The earth is something which is the only Mesivus in reality that it has no Indian of the past. It's only to give... Birth is something new, something different. The earth goes beyond itself. Because you put something into the earth, into the ground, and there's a chiddush. There's nothing else that's like that. Everything else that exists is just a, a, a hamshich of what was. Except for the earth. By the earth, when you put something into the earth, the earth, the earth is able to give something that never was before. So this is the same thing with a person. That unless a person is able to come to a place of Mesir Snefesh, of Bittu, which is the Ikar Vayda and Chesidus of Baal Shama Kodesh of Bittl, unless a person is able to come to that place where he's ready to let go of everything and to forget about who he was until now and to do something beyond, when the person does that, then he becomes Ka'afratiyah, like the Afra, like the earth, <coughs> and there can be something new, it can be something different. So that's what we're talking about. That until our generation, it was hand-to-hand combat. Taivan Ra. That's how it was fought all of the years, in such a way, of Taivan Ra. And and sometimes you won, sometimes you lost. But it was always within the like that <coughs> ring, that boxing ring, where the where the um, where it was fair. You know, it wasn't like you were putting I was talking to one of the Khavi the other day, it's not like you would take the, the world heavyweight champion and put him up against the world lightweight champion. Even though the lightweight is a Gavaldiga fighter, but it's a little fair. You don't put him into a ring with a heavyweight, right? It's just, that's not the same. It's not Zelu Mazer. So here we are, Tavshin and Pedal, and the Varshalom took us, we're, light, we're lightweights. And the Varshalom took us, and he put us like with this heavyweight, which is the technology, it's a heavyweight. It's uh, dating especially of artificial intelligence. Which I'm learning more about it because I've been reading up on a little bit more. People have been giving me some stuff to read. So the more I read about it, the, the, the more of a mystery it is and the bigger the pachet it is. And and we're lightweights and, and it seems like I should put us into the ring with, with the world heavyweight champion. And and there's the, the, I mean, even if you have some fancy, you know, footwork, mm-hmm. it's very hard to dance around it. So not how hard, it seems impossible. But that had to have it's impossible for our kids nowadays to to stand up to this once they're exposed to it if you could somehow prevent the kid from being exposed to it like he never goes on a bus or never walks on the street or, or this you know like if, if you take him to an island someplace and you put him somewhere where there's no Wi-Fi you know you take him on so then Kula Hai Vulai but nowadays whether you're in you could be in in, in Gula and in B'nai Brak you could be in Muncie and Monroe and you could be in Town Manhattan and it's the same Malacha so the, unless you can keep the eyes pure in such a way, in the ears that he never, ever, ever was exposed to it. So then, then, it, okay. But and people are scrambling and trying to do that, but it's not, it's not working. So, but there, Hateva, Akash Baruch Hu put us into a matzah before Mashiach comes, 
where where it's impossible to win. It's just impossible. Mayasa ben It's not possible to win. So they can, it's good. All the hamtsaot with filters and all kinds of things and speeches and all this stuff. You do it. You know, you fight whatever you can. But again, it's it's all. It's all fighting the lightweight against the, against the heavyweight champion of the world. She so gives him a big punch. So the, this doesn't work. So Hashem has re- revealed to us, and the Siddiquim, through all the generations, have taught us that there is a way for a person to do something new, to come to a place that's new. And that's why leaving the shrine had to be in such a way of mysterious nefesh, which was Bismillah, Karben Pesach, compared with the Shech, the whole of the Zor of Mitzrayim, Le'inehem. You're a slave for a long time. The whole Mitzvah of a slave, the whole Mitzvah of a slave is to be subservient and to live in a place of Pachat from, the, from your master. That's how, that's, that's the whole Mitzvah of a slave. And they weren't just there for a for, for a couple of years. And that's the home and of a slave. So to be Masik the Indian of what happened with Shabbos <coughs> Adol was and the whole the, the, the whole the, the whole break from from the, the Shibud of Mitzrayim when you're Mugbal, right? When you're held in a certain Gavul, the whole break required something that was Me'al I mean to go to do something that's radically different. That's that's completely <coughs> completely completely uh, to be mice and efficient, because Akash Baruch said, do this, and we said, yeah, we do this, and we did it. So then, we made a break with the past. And we became, we came to that madrega of ka'afatiya, of afer ve'efer, of being mevat ourselves like the earth, that has nothing of itself. And once you have nothing of yourself, and you and you let go of yourself, so then just like the earth, is the only mitzvah in the world that can bring something different and new. That's beyond itself, so too a person can bring into his life kaiches that are beyond his kaiches. He's able to grow something, he's able to bring forth something that's beyond his kaiches, because then he's tapping into insight. When you're mavati yourself, it was the whole time, the whole chesid, this is the, when you're mavati yourself, that bittel takes you to a place that's ain't so. And ain't so, then, 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 the he, then you're not just the, the heavyweight champion of the world. The heavyweight champion of the world is a, a galach. It's a joke. The Chavos Chaim wouldn't have had any problems dealing with technology. Didn't have any problems with it. It wouldn't be like, how am I going to handle this? What am I going to do with this? Geval, I'm so tempted to look at this. No, it's a joke. Because the because that temptation is in the world is 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 still part of that of the world, even though it has a tam of ain so, but it's not. It's only one ain so, and that's a kashbar. But this is the this is the, the scary this is the scary boxing match at the end of time, and unless you unless you have <laughs> love as if ain't self, you're gonna lose. So so we're trying desperately with the kids to talk to about this and talk about that, and and, and then every every day, a new kind of phone that this is a special protected phone, and and you you, you know you go to the office some office and they'll they'll make this phone that nothing bad can get in. And then, then you find out, you know, five years later, the kid was the kid had a different phone. He, he had four other phones. Your phone, he, your phone, he just kept for the, you know, a little bit, but he had other phones going on. And he had disposable phones. He had invisible phones. He had magic phones. He had, and and you thought that you had smarted your kid because you got him this like old fashioned flip phone, and and and, and you're so proud of your of your of your yeshiva bacher. He only texts and. and and, and even the texting is only you're able to watch everything, right? Like this, like you think you're able to watch everything your kid is doing. It's also an in your of ain't self that, that everything to see and to watch, but it's not. And 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 self goes self unless unless we we tap into this koach of mysterious nefesh and to raise Jews who are bali mysterious nefesh. And we're going to learn the second part of this. Go back a few pages here to learn. Just uh, the the basic and pnimis at Torah, pnimis at Torah. You know, to, to go to a, a level of Torah that's that's a taste of ain't so, which is what the Ariyakadish Chaim Vital said that before Mashiach comes. This is even uh, and, 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 
the tzaddik would even children are going to need to learn shom hakadosh. They're going to learn to to what it means, what it means that you have inside of you kaiches that are that are that are infinite, infinite. A Jew has such kaiches. But if we don't teach our children that they have a part of themselves that's infinite, and then then they're in the ring with with something that seems like it's infinite, it's a heavy weight. Seems like it's infinite, and then and then it, 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 what are they going to do? How are they going to fight? So we're on the bottom of the page. Shin pay dial it. And you have I don't know if you have it on your phone or if you have a paper. I think I gave the paper last week. I'm pretty sure. Well, So long ago, it says in the Gemara, Yitzhak Shalodim is Gabriel of Chal Yom Viyam, Mavakish So we know the enemy, and the Gemara says that the Yitzhak of a person every day is Mizgabriel of Mizgabriel of Mavakish Amin. So wants to kill you, wants to destroy you. So the Gemara said that a long time ago. And if not for Hashem helping you, any Yachol, you can't. Now Dov is in Hema Tamid B'Chal Hatar is Kula, so it was always like that. In other words, throughout all generations, without Siyat and Shemai, without help, one could not one could not defeat. We're talking about the regular Yet Sahara, the old fashioned conventional warfare, Yet Sahara, also was uh, was undefeated, unless unless the a person Davin's, the person Davin's, and he tries to do his best to keep mitzvahs until in Torah. And a kashbuch or Yisrael, yachol. But otherwise, any yachol. That was always. That was the reason never told me to be called a school. Last sentence: I will be yes, be yes, a chidud b'dor didan. But in our generation, where we are now, yitzur shel adam is garbal of muvakesh hamisa. The yitzur of a person is misgarbal muvakesh hamisa to kill him. Ki yitzur shel adam b'dor didan who ain't self. The Yetzer of our generation is a Bechina of Ein Sof. It's not, it's not regular. Ro'adam ho'adam, bal gvul. It's like we used to say when I lived as a kid in Eretz Yisrael, it's a low fair. It's not fair. The Yetzer Haru Bizmanenu is Ein Sof. Is Ein Sof. I myself, I'm a, I'm a bal gvul. I, 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 this is it. I, I did the best I could. I can't. I can't contend with this. This is impossible to contend with. I'm surrounded with it. It's everywhere. I cannot contend with this. So it seems like that's it. But the what the Gemara said back then is is was has always been true, but now. We need to understand more than ever before of El Mole HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ayizwai. What is that? El Mole HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ayizwai. If not for Hashem's help. Climb it. Here, it's not, it's, it's not again, to daven, we always daven, that, that we should be able to, 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 to succeed and to fight and to win with the Yetzirah. It was always like that. So it was always, it was always, you need Siyad HaDishmai. But, but now, unless a person now connects to this, which is called Hakadosh Baruch Hu Ozro, in a in a way, in a way of mysterious nefesh, in a way of, of letting go of himself and giving him surrendering himself to Hakadosh Baruch Hu, there's no way to fight against the Ain Sof of, of the Sharendon of Tum. This is the battlefield. This is the place of the Muhammad. This is the place of the Muhammad. To the degree that a person is Dovuk, attaches himself to the infinite light of Hashem. How? With the or of Mesiris Nefesh. Bittel, a Mesiris Nefesh. And again, we learned we learned last week that it doesn't mean that a person has to give up his life, Al Kedesh Hashem. The time is when a person has to do that. 
And that's what we see. We spoke a lot about that. Before Mashiach comes, there's this or of Nefesh that's being revealed even right now in Eretz Yisrael. The need of Mesiris Nefesh HaMamash, people dying on Kiddush Hashem. But even if it means a, it means a step beyond yourselves, as we were talking about last week, beyond your regular, your regular program, beyond the regular program. I mentioned even a, a, a simple example last week about your norm. You've been the last three years since they people started bringing coffee to davening, and you and you and you fell into that uh, that ugliness. So, to to eat a coffee. It's not such a big thing, but it's mysterious nefesh. You're not going to do it. It's mysterious nefesh. And to and to uh, even incremental leaps. That's what Pesach means. To get out of Mitzrayim, you have to jump. And jumping means to go someplace where it's not your comfort zone. To do something in Kedusha that's beyond what you would normally do. Like our ancestors went and they shot to the, the, the Avodah of the Egyptians. That was totally out of their comfort zone. Completely out of the comfort zone. There are people who were there were people who were by the Nazis eighty years ago, and and they and they're still afraid. To be masked, what that means to be enslaved by somebody, to be tortured, tormented, to be to live in such a, a mitzvah. But that's we don't know what that's like. So to be able to to stand up and to defy that world that was enslaving you. And that was terrifying you, terrorizing you, and to and to go into and to shecht the avodah right? That's the only way to break out of that of that place is with mitzvahs nefesh, and that's why dam pesach and dam milu. What is it? Why dafke these two mitzvahs? For amalach what? For the ma'ich chayi. For amalach for the ma'ich chayi. For amalach for the ma'ich chayi means with means mitzvahs nefesh. With your blood you shall live. By your blood you shall live. By your blood you shall live. But the May Chai, but the May Chai is Dam Mila and Dam Taisa. Because because that that's the Nakud of Mysterious Nefesh of Egypt. It's the Nakud of Mysterious Nefesh. Kikhal Shadam Davik Bahara Ain Sof Mikoch or Mysterious Nefesh. He begins to live a life of mysterious nefesh. I don't feel like going to daven right now. He pushes himself to daven. I don't feel like learning an extra, an extra few lines of this Gemara. I'm tired. Becomes like a bal mysterious nefesh. Doesn't mean you're always, but but you become a person that is conscious of taking up these challenges of going beyond. Every single thing in your life, yeah, but you become a person that is conscious of this, not to just to, not to just give in, to be and to just continue like with the hemshech. With the hemshech, nothing new comes from old stuff. The old stuff is you just nothing. Something new can only come when you break with the past, when you say no, when you do something different with mysterious nefesh. Then it's like the earth, and something can grow. Something there's a chiddush. That's the meaning of Achadish Zalachan. His chashes. Only his chashes can only come from Bittl, from the earth. Nothing else can can create anything with his. There's no his chashes chutz from that. From the earth has such a kaiyach Hashem gave. It's the same thing. The person, only in a person, <coughs> when a person lets go and becomes like the earth, and is bottle to the rotz Hashem. So then, then. He could go to something much bigger than himself. When you look in the Torah, the beginning of the whole story of Yitzhak is and 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 then the end of it is after Kriyas Yamsuf. When we say Hashem, when we say in Azayosh, Hashem Yimloch Loilam Vad, there's no the only way, the only way to come to Hashem Yimloch Loilam Vad is with his chashes that comes with Bittel. That's it. That's, that's the only way to do it. Limsa Nafshel Levis Baruch Shemov Kol Echel Lefig V'Loyis of Shemov. Each person according to his Madriga. Again, it's a mistake to think that a person all of a sudden will become a tzaddik. We're talking about becoming a tzaddik. Become a better, something better than it was. Today, something something stronger. An Indian of, of mysterious nefesh today. When it comes to making a bracha, when it comes to benching, stop yourself by benching. When you're benching, stop yourself and say, 
this I I always for my whole life I've been saying this thing in like forty five seconds. And and stop right now. I'm holding by with Nayush I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to say this next part of benching. I'm going to say it slowly and carefully. It kills. Because he's not used to it. It kills to do that. But but that feeling of being killed and letting yourself die, Laman Hashem, that's going to that place that's called the Shire Hanun of Kedusha. That's the weapon. That's already now we're now we're talking about uh, unconventional warfare. Because you became unconventional. Your your conventional way of that of, of benching is uh, that's the you know the conventional the conventional benching. With that, you can't fight against the heavyweight. It doesn't work. It worked on it worked to some degree until now, because because uh, because the uh, of what it was in the earlier times. It's not that that's not the, why it was. Why Shemayis Bachar before Mashiach comes, we have to we have to come to this place of Shalom, because we're getting ready for the biggest chiddush that ever was. Which is Mashiach that came. It's the biggest chiddush. It's not a different world. It's altogether uh, beyond something we can't be masik. It's it's not with any gvulim of what we understand. What, what's waiting for us, and to, for that to happen, the same way that for a person to get to the next world, you got to put him into the ground. I understand because we put the body into the ground. The ground is a place of growing. Something new can come from that. Because in this world, everything is just the same old thing, right there. A person dies, goes into the ground. And there could be Shaykh Ne'afa, Hakit Suvaranu Shaykh Ne'afa. It could be something, Hakit Suvaranu, something to come out from the dirt, uh, something new, something different. That's Tchias Amesim. But when you have Tchias Amesim, it has to be a little. You, know, you don't put a guy in some, uh, in some mausoleum or somewhere. It's got a little in the offer. In the offer. Kalachal Afik Velayisav Shalai. Each one according to the level of Mesivus Nefesh that he's able to he's able to tap into. That's how that's how you will you will experience the or ain't so. That's why anytime any one of us ever did anything that was really special, to do something like that, to be involved in some big thing to help others, to do something big, something something chosh. I mean, I'm big, I don't mean grand, but something that was hard for you, very, very hard. You see that that you don't have for that for there's an R that it lasts even after for a while, but you don't have you're not you're not lost in tivers. Because you were part of something that, that was beyond yourself. So you see the thing of the tivers. And certainly Bishas Mai says that doesn't you don't have the tiver at all. Because it looks silly. Because then you because from the perspective of Ain Self, you look at this stuff as being what it is. It's all it's, it's not an Irish guy. But when you're when you're but when you're when you're not in that place of beyond yourself, and you're stuck in the ghoul, so everything is like you know, a monster, and so you can't, I can't, I can't, I can't fight against this type. It's impossible to fight against this type. If a guy that's uh, a soldier that's in the middle of the, the middle of fighting a war, and you and, and, he, and they're uh, shooting all around him, and you say you come over, you say, you know, and you say, what is, what is, what is it? They're fighting. He says, I just want to show. I just found a pretty girl on my phone. I thought you'd like to see. It. What are you out of your mind? <laughs> You know, you know, I, but but I know you from high school. You're the biggest belt type in the whole class. <laughs> Look, this is this is not the time for types because he's in a place of mysterious nefesh. That in you, that avoid is not of mysterious nefesh. And and when you show him something like this, he looks at it. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Kachyol <laughs> har ain't soif, or ain't soif. The infinite light of Hashem is. Takes you to a place that's not that uh, those things are not they're not they're not a challenge. Otherwise, you say well, you can't possibly fight against this. It's too strong for you. It's too it is. It's too strong for you. It's not too strong for Kadosh Baruch. By day came, how them Yimshach Lebari is Baruch Shmuel Amayla Yimashach Lebari is Baruch Shmuel Amayla Mitam Vedas Klal. Take as you come to a place that's higher than. Tam Vedas, that's higher than anything you understand, much, much greater than you thought that you could be. You, we all have much, much bigger characters than, than we think we have. Because there's, there's, because there's a Kaich of Ain't So. 
Shemoshech Oysa Elohi is Baruch Shemoshech Oysa Elohi is Baruch Shemoshech It pulls you to Lechtech Acherai Bamidna That's the easiest sign To let go of yourself And to let Hashem take you somewhere Ishbet says, this is the very beginning. I spoke about it a few times over the years. You see, the Ishbet says, all the Sadiq of Mishbet, they spoke about the strange of a desire of Mishraim, which, which was that they worshipped the sign, sheep. The whole Mitzvah of that animal, like we see in the Gemara, that whoever's holding the the, the uh, shtack of the stick that the shepherd has, so he's kind of, he could be kind of the whole Ada, right? The whole flock, he could be kind of why? Because the nature of that animal, there's no animal on earth that has such a teva to be drawn after. To be drawn after. So the Ishbut says it's a, it's a wondrous thing that the Egyptian, the Avadizara of Egypt was was uh, 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 that animal. Sheep. Like it says by Paro, Paro, the, the Nile was something that they also worshipped, right? <coughs> But Paro was standing on top of the Yor. But by the Gemara says, but the Medrash says, but by us it's Vihini Hashem, Nitzah of Olav, Hashem is standing on top of you. So why did the Egyptians worship sheep? Because they wanted to be in control of everything, even their God. So the God follows them, because the sheep is an animal, that, that's an animal that does whatever you want it to do. Not that, not that you're led by, but you lead. And what, what was the way that we got out of Mitzrayim? By shechting that animal and making ourselves, we say, what does it say? You're our shepherd. You. In other words, I'm, it's not me. I'm, I'm, your, I'm your sheep. Wherever you take me. Wherever you take me, I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm not in charge. It's whatever you, that's called Mesir's Nefesh. That's why I give up myself, Mesir's Nefesh. I let go of myself. The Egyptians worshipped uh, uh, an animal that they could, that uh, a god, that, that that's they, they worshipped the animals. They worshipped that animal because they wanted something which will never ever tell them what to do. Because the, the nature of that animal is that it goes, it does whatever you want. You say, come here, and they all go. There's, the one, there's one guy standing there I remember I used to, when I was, you're driving, I saw, I used to see it like a Bedouin walking with a thousand of these sheep. And I'm always saying to these animals, have it. You know, they can run for it, you know. <laughs> like you see one, one, one guy standing and walking with them, and there's a whole, uh, there's a whole, you know, uh, flock, a whole aid that's there walking behind them, and you feel bad for them. They go, you know. But that's not the terror of that animal. <coughs> Terror of that animal is that it, it's taken. It's taken. And we're called Tsarin Yaisa. The Jewish people are called Hashem's sheep. Because we forget, we we want to be led by Kadesh Baruch. We want to let go of ourselves into something bigger. The whole of our desire of Egypt is that even that, 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 that their God, they make small. That I, I tell my God what to do. Vihine, who I made Al Hayyar. He stands, Paro is the Balabas. He oimed al hayor. And by Klaiso, he needs Hashem needs of Allah. It's what you want. So therefore, we had to shech that, that of Adizar before we left. That way of thinking. It's still a prevalent way of uh, how people think. It's, it's what I want. I'm, I'm the main, I have to get what I want. Not to let go, but to take. And the whole chinuch of Amisol is. is is bitter, is to let go. And the Baruch Hu is, and we're Tsoin Marisa. Hashem is the shepherd. Anu Tsanachem, Ata Ro'enu. To let go. That's called Mesiris Nefesh. And when you do that, when you do that, then you're entering into something that's, that's ain't so. Because then the one who's, the one who's taking care of you, and you double to the one who's taking care of you, the one who's taking care of you, is, uh, for him, he has no problems with any heavyweight. It's not a problem, because then you're 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 in that flock, you're in that eder of kuchibrich, and that's undefeated, undefeatable.
That's the Malmi Talmud Das. Midrash Shemayim Bar Heor Ein Soif Shemoyshik Chayis Elvi Zbor and then the Loshon of the Ramchal and Mitzvah Shavu Yimashik Hakol Kebazel Achal Eben Shavus and to be drawn to Kadosh Baruch like a, like a piece of metal after a magnet. When a magnet takes the again, if you have a strong magnet and you have a piece of metal, so the the that the metal the piece of metal goes to the magnet. It doesn't stop off for for its own along the way. You have the Evan Shoevis and you have a piece of metal. There's no stops. There's no it doesn't get sidetracked at all. It doesn't get sidetracked at all. It's key. Mosh Acho ke barzlach Evan Shavis. Barzlach and Shavis. That's that's a that's a deacon like that. Barzlach and Shavis. Khajbok is a magnet. There's nothing, nothing in the way. Nothing at all can get in the way. To show them Zoyche Beemis, the Mukhan Limsa is Navshai, to say the Elevis Bar Shemai, and the person begins to live a life of Messiah's Nefesh. Again, it doesn't have to be a grand, big, but a life where he's conscious of this, of Messiah's Nefesh. Where he takes those words in his head, I don't feel like this. And he go, when it comes to something in Avaidah or Yetzar, I don't, or, or I have to do, and you, and you, and you make a Mulchama, and you go beyond that. That's what it is. Whatever, whatever that might be. You have to do with how, with, 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 with the Inyan of Kedusha, or other things, and Nevesh Hashem, whatever that is. The Ikra is, it's Mesiris Nefesh. Harishakol haviyoso, eina ala ba'ifin shal heinyik, delaini lo yayacha, like it says in Pasuk. But now he lives a life where you can you can kill me even the, even though they kill me I have hope in Hashem. In other words, I'm prepared to die for Hashem. And dying again, there are different ways. If there's something that I want very badly, and I and I don't I let go of this I surrender myself to Hashem. Well, that's called dying. And then you that's called dying. And you come to that place that's called offer the earth, and it's like being buried. And then because you buried your own rotsen, you buried what you wanted, and then something new. Can grow from that, and that thing that grows from that is much stronger than than, than anything that's that's bothering. <coughs> that's already called that's already called ain't so. I will learn with David. Look at him. Shem kaven bedaita limsa nafsho beechad. And we should all have this in mind, especially when we say, especially in the morning, the first thing, and then by Kriyshem Alamita to have a shmei shal shem akena and shem achad. We should have in mind that we should be moisa nefesh. That this should be a day that's with mesirus nefesh. This should be a day that I'm. Uh, that I'm prepared to give up for Kajabaruch. And then, then during the day, you'll see what, what those opportunities are. But whatever it is, there are plenty of opportunities every day. What those opportunities are. In, in Sumera and in Asaita, in both. Zo Bemis ha Pnimis shall oimeka nefesh. Lo chasasom bedimion shall sheker. El makavinis atzmo ba mitis ha Pnimis limsis nafshalis baruch shemot. They have that mamish in mind by Kriyashmi. To think of that. To think of that. It's both from the Rebbe the Melch. I see yourself being killed on Kiddush Hashem, Mamish. There are Madragis, but, but you know, sometimes that's an easier thing to do because you figure that's not going to happen today. What's the chances of, what's the chance of some guy telling me I have to jump into a fire or else he's going to, I have to convert or else he's going to kill me? The, the, the likelihood of that happening, anything can happen, but the likelihood of that happening today is not so strong. But the, there's a much bigger likelihood of something else coming your way that's not good. It doesn't have to be someone that's telling you you have to convert. So, in a certain <coughs> way, this thought that a person has by Shema, this kavana that I'm prepared to die, Al Kiddush Hashem. After yeah, uh, you do it once or twice, uh, it, you, uh, it becomes like another, you know. It's, it's just a matter of time to, you know, they make a t shirt, the Shema, and showing yourself, you know, in a fire. And. You 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 belong to the, the chat group of people who dial <laughs> It's it doesn't mean anything after a while, but every single day, the unknowable things that you face and things that you expect to face, and and to be mezgaber, and to be mezgaber <coughs> with this machshava of shema yisrael shem okenim shem echad, that's what's serious nefesh, and that to to think of that when you're saying kriyshma, and then when you when you give. When you say Krishna Lamita, Krishna Lamita, which is a very, very good place to begin. I was talking to one of the Chev about that last week. He was asking me what he thinks of good. I said, everybody has their own place where they, 
So I said, but if you want to ask, if you ask me what's a good place to begin, to begin at the end, at the end of the day. Try to say Kriya Shmalamita slowly and carefully. You know, when you're exhausted, <coughs> you're exhausted, and 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 you just, all you, just to go to Shluf and you know, to sleep, and you just, you've had it, and you just want this day you like to end and you and you and you like ready and cozy and you and you and then to say a good Krishna Lamita, you know, to say it properly, it's, it's it requires me serious knowledge. So it's a good place to begin. To say a good Krishna Lamita. And the Rabbani Shalom, Ani Maikhlam, the whole Vidu, they say Krishna coming to the visa. It's a huge thing. And if not the whole thing, then at least to try to begin. To say Krishna with Kavanah. Consider to start to, to begin. Each person, in, uh, and that's already to, lead, to to finish the day that way. Is, it's not the same as finishing uh, without it. It's a different world. So world of mysterious nefesh. Who he says who yesh lo is a klezayin. This gives a person the klezayin. Klezayin means the weapon. This is the weapon. Mysterious nefesh is the weapon. I remember there was uh, many many years ago. So when I was teaching the, in the high school, so that every now and then they would like they would show the kids a, a movie. I, I don't know. They'd be like for whatever reason. So, so there was this. There was a movie. A very very famous movie. I don't remember the name of it. But it was a very very famous movie. Back then, I'm talking about forty, 40 years, but I'm talking about forty years. A very very famous movie. And and there was this there was this guy, like a cowboy. It was a cowboy type of a guy, and he, you know, he had he had a holster with his gun, whatever, and and it was him against like this like kung fu master, like a crazy, murdic kung kung fu guy. So the, I I so I, I didn't see the whole movie because it's not nice for everybody to watch the whole movie. So, easy. <laughs> so we're going in and out of it. So so this part I remember that so. This, this is like the, the, the cowboy, the, the guy against the kung fu master. So this kung fu master was standing to doing like, to scare the guy. He was going like, doing, doing all kinds of and crazy things and twirling. He had a stick, you know, and doing stuff behind his back and jumping. The, and, and the cowboy's like this prostate guy. So forgive me. He just looks at, he's watching this Japanese guy, the Chinese guy, and he's, then he just takes out his gun and <laughs> shoots him in the head. It was the end of it all. <laughs> just walks away and the guy was doing all this fancy stuff <laughs> and, and, and Knabi if he didn't have a gun and if he, if he didn't have the gun he would have been finished he would have been done would have been no chance against this guy but he had a gun so he's watching this guy and this guy's doing all this stuff and he just he just you know, walks away it was the end of the whole the whole Muhammad is finished that, that a person a person has the clay zine if you have the if you have the weapon if you have the right weapon like Rabbi Nachman in the second Torah talks about the klezayin of davening of tefillah and the person knows what kind of a weapon davening is. Every single tefillah, there, there were Jews, there were tzaddikim, that they hold davening with such mysterious nefesh, mysterious nefesh, the next word, the next sentence of mysterious nefesh. And, and it's, a, it's the most powerful weapon. Then you have a klezayin. As haroimach, shalom al-chamer, lehilochim, mitziyas you have the right the spear, you have the right equipment. The fact this Muhammad is Galba de That's this Muhammad of our generation. So Shwas is when people read you hear this in the beginning, it sounds like, oh, this is beyond me. I, it's not, I'm not like this. I can't do this. But it's not true. I will connect Oy McTaika for Ash and him, sir Khaibli as Kli, Mark Bill Bahdala Shtamish and Isaac Lee. We have no choice. If this is if this is what we're up against. It, you, it means that Hashem is Baruch gave us, because it always is in such a way, Hashem never leaves you without the weapon. So it means that the, it means that we have the only way to still establish Hashem exactly. If there's a weapon of Ra that's called Ein Saif, that looks like it's Ein Saif, then it, that means that we have to use a weapon, Lotayv, in Kedusha, that's called Ein Saif. Loshon Dach Yashach Chayv Lass Or Mark Bil Shayodo V'yachnis Metziu Sarah. Which is the only thing you can fight against. Misya Sarah. Zar Ay Yechidu Or Shein Lay Saif. No Or Shein Lay Saif. Har Ain't the Shin Pei Vav. Let's just finish this. Har and we'll do a little bit more next week from earlier in the Sefer. Har Or Ain Saif. 
Niglo be Ikeba is Bosch, and Michael Mosgala be Terrasa, the Gilu shall terrorish Yaru from Eric's Mida, or Havim in Yom. And this or ain't so this is what we're going to pick up on with Mish next week. This or ain't so as far as our Lima Tari is concerned, is not just, to, of course, with our regular learning, whatever that is, Kishamar, Gemara, Mishnais, whatever you're learning, is to push yourself, of course, with Mishnah's Nevish. But then there's a whole other area of Tari. That's the whole, it's the whole, that whole Tari is a Tari of Ain't so. To be to this Because there's a way of learning Torah that's Shein First of all, there's a way when it comes to learning to learning regular Torah, where a person takes, where a person pushes himself beyond what he felt his limitations. Beyond, remember there was one of the one of the heavy here. They grew up in that ever-learning Torah. He grew up in a completely secular thing. And he, and he took upon himself to learn within a certain time of Sech the Shabbos. Shabbos. And, 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 and the rest of the people said, why did, why did, they thought maybe he didn't know that, that was such a big Masech. He was so, you know, he didn't know anything about Gemara. So he thought, Shabbos is nice, you know, so, uh, you know, I'll, I'll do Shabbos. You know, so he thought that he didn't know. He knew what he was getting into. You know, the ones with the article have like three volumes. You know? <laughs> so he was getting into a big thing. And and his wife described to me how he would come home from work late and he would sit there till 12, 1, 2 in the morning relentlessly to push his way through. That's, that's one madrega. That's one madrega from the serious Nefesh. Ain't safe. So even in your regular learning, ain't safe. We use Galagalas as Chalkish Lavach Nash, Lois Akleep, Lahiris, or Azay, Yosef, Yosef. Ad Kiyovi, you know, he's Galan, so that's that when Mashiach is going to completely destroy the other side and crush the head of the snake, which is what you, Kiyim, Chatzwesh, Anachesh, Shoresh, Kreich, Ara, he's Galan, Bishlam, and Mita also, Agmur, Bechal, El Maskulam, but Mitch Shem will do a little bit next week, just on this Nakuda, Mishir, Snefesh, and maybe to talk more about how it fits into the whole Mizgeras of what the Yantiv of Pesach is about. Okay. 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 Okay.